Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I am uh, kitting up this beautiful British Bulldog with his little Union Jack vest on and his crown. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One is uh, Mindy and Angie Run Free DP Along, which is uh, running from the 1st of May to the 31st of May. And I'll put details down below me. They are doing animals that walk on land, so it's like uh, anything really, animals. Um, yeah, run free DP along. I don't think this bulldog's going to run very far. He looks as though he's quite happy to just sit there and look and probably very regal get everybody to run around after him. <laughs> I did actually buy this one uh, on the 11th of February last year, 2021. So he's over a year old. So it's about time I got round to doing him. Uh, he is 18 colours and it's just standard gems. And yeah, he's a full drill. So, and I got him from the oh gosh, B I S A S M A R C K B E R store. I will leave links down below. I do believe it came from Amazon. <laughs> well, yeah, he's gorgeous, and we've got a key code on both sides. So, I'm quite looking forward to doing him. There's just one colour all the way around the edge. So what I tend to do with a smaller one is do all of the edge first. So I'll do all of that blue first and then I'll just section it off and do the bulldog uh, in separate bits. But yeah, I tend to leave the face till last because I like doing the face with that little nose. And I think I'm going to put either some ABs or some crystal gems in because most of the projects I've got with Uni and Jackson at the moment... Uh, are actually in crystals the red white and blue so i possibly will do that i think i probably will but i'll kit it up as is for now so i've got my 30 storage box container even though there are only 18 colors but i do prefer to use these and i have got a couple of projects on the go at the moment so i'm tending to find i'm splitting between one to another and I definitely find that they're a lot easier using them in the boxes, uh, well, in the bottles in the boxes. So I've copied the key code and I'll pop that through my side on. We'll get these uh, gems out. As you can see, my sticker on the front there matches this one. And I've got the dates on as well. So I know when I got them, I'm actually storing all of my uh, canvases in date order now. So I can work on my older ones first. Oh, <laughs> she says. And then all the new ones that come in, you think, oh, I'll just do this one. I'll just do this one. I'll just do this one. I think I have about six canvases on the go at the moment. And I must get at least one of them finished. But life keeps getting in the way. And I am still organising my craft room, organising all my um, canvases. And, yeah, getting all my paperwork in order. I've got my this year's tax return to do well last year's tax return to do to get all that up to date as well so yeah it's uh, it's all going the harrison household at the moment these out of here oh look at that we've got two bags of that one oh, that's the background have we got, oh no we've got three bags so we'll need more than one bottle so let me grab some stickers as well okay when you see more than one bag you know that they're not all going to necessarily fit in a bottle uh, and a tray. It's just my brain went then. I couldn't think what on earth I was doing. Nothing new there then was the cry. <laughs> okay, so let's put these this uh, little key code through my Zaron sticker. This just turns your key code into a sticker. Gosh, where is my brain gone today? Uh, yeah, all I've done is photocopied this. Um, well, just on my printer it has a photocopy facility just done that just to make this into a sticker it just makes it a lot easier and um, i can never read my writing now i can't get this off here oh dear me what am i doing okay and if you just take the top off oh oh look it's stuck to my nails then everything any sticky left on the white carrier sheet comes off on the little bit of plastic and you can just throw that bit away and then now these are all stickers so they are the sticky on the back which then means they can stick onto the bottles so let's get my little bottles and let's get 
the scissors and if you just cut through to the edge there then it just makes them easier to peel off up cut all the way through otherwise you just end up with lots and lots of little bits all over everywhere but this is a good one because it's actually one to nine uh, drill number is one to nine um, like bottle number and then we've just got some nice big easy to read capital letters so this is a 30 by 40 canvas shouldn't take too long to do uh, i'm hoping that i will get more than one canvas done for the uh, run 3d peel along but if i don't i should definitely get this one done and as i say it is for our queen's jubilee part of my little decorations that's what i'm wanting to do with it so let's get these put on my little containers uh, i hope everybody's doing well and that life is treating you kindly uh, we're not doing too bad hubby has had his uh, further update on uh, hospital he's managed to stay out of the uh, big white building the second home hospital that he goes to uh, for a couple of weeks now which is amazing um, the consultant doesn't now want to see him for another six weeks so it doesn't need any more blood tests for another six weeks uh, fingers crossed everything is going in the right direction obviously if we get any problems we've got to get straight back in touch with them which is fair enough and we will do anyway but yeah so it's all good news um, obviously the leukemia will always be with him um, and there are always chances of complications and things coming back but at the moment it is under control uh, the chemotherapy seems to have worked he's been very lucky this form of chemotherapy uh, he's not lost his hair which is fantastic um, he, you know, I mean, to be honest, I know that's the least of your worries when you, you know, that ill, um, and he has been very, very poorly over the last few years, but it just seems as though maybe we know what was wrong with him, and maybe we've treated it properly now, and um, so uh, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm carefully optimistic, shall we say? Oh, number one's nice, pretty pink. Okay, so that was our sort of good news. We've uh, been doing okay. And he is definitely getting stronger. Um, we've been in touch with the Motability Car people and hopefully we're going to be getting a new car that's easier for him to get in and out of. Um, we've managed to negotiate because you, you, when you get um, a Motability Car, uh, basically you sort of like given an amount of money each week and you use it for getting around but you can use it as like um, a payment on a car so that's what we decided to do and the car that we've got because we'd ordered it um, before hubby's second big bout of sepsis before he got his um, leukemia diagnosis his cancer diagnosis then it's just not suitable anymore. He's not strong enough to do what he could do like three years ago when we ordered the car. So we're actually now, um, let's say we've managed to come out of the agreement. Is it two years? Is it three years? It might only be two years. It might only be two years. Do you know, the years are just merging into one. <laughs> I just don't know where I am. <laughs> Who am I? What am I doing? Why am I putting little plastic things into little plastic tubs from little plastic bags? <laughs> oh yeah, hello. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's pretty good news as well. Um, we have got physiotherapy and occupational health coming in as well to help us because we have struggled. It has been a struggle. Uh, and as Husby, Husby was gradually getting worse and worse and worse, we were struggling more and more and all i can say is please ask for help if you need help ask for help and maybe we just tried to get on with it and thought oh these people are a lot worse off than us um and we just struggle too much and you do get to a burnout point and i must admit you know I, um i was getting to a point where i just couldn't cope anymore 
it was just all too much um, and you know seeing your loved ones so poorly and being helpless to help them medically um, is very very difficult so you know anybody that is going through that struggle I do uh, well not sympathise because you don't want sympathy but I do understand a little bit shall we say so we'll do two number five jars on this one because we've got two extras so we'll put the sticker I always underline the numbers as well so that I know which way around it is because say my writing is appalling and I can just look at things and think what on earth does that say even when it's me that's written it <laughs> so yeah as I say um, we are getting some help now. We are starting to get sorted out, which is excellent. Um, we've managed to get out a couple of times as well, which is even better. And it's been now, it's quite a dull day today. A lovely, dull UK bank holiday Monday. Yay! But uh, it's, it's not been too bad over the weekend. Saturday was a beautiful day. It was really hot and warm. And we had a friend come over to stay, uh, one of our really good friends, which we've not seen her since Christmas um, with all hubby's appointments. And, I mean, we've, you know, we've spoken to her and text and things like that, but yeah, we've just not actually physically seen her. And now we have, so that's excellent news. Uh, lovely to see people, somebody different to talk to as well. Uh, it pets hubby up he likes having a bit of company he's used to having a lot of people around with working in shops for as long as he did uh, i'm quite happy in my own company um, i know i do youtube but you know i'm i'm a real stay at home but i'm quite happy to just tootle along in my own sweet way <laughs> uh, but yeah so that was nice and we went out for a meal which was wonderful and um, very very tasty and it was just this little garden centre that's near us so we had a tootle up there a Millie Moo our little Scottish terrier um, went across to the neighbours to our friend and neighbours uh, he was out doing his garden so she uh, loves going in his garden because he's at like the end of the cul-de-sac um, and he has like a water running like it's like a drain but anyway um and people walk their dogs and people walk along there so it really just sits there and huffs everybody through the fence which is great uh, we're great for her not great for the people that she makes jump out the skin because of course she's quite low down and as you're walking along the dog suddenly goes Woof, at you through the fence you're gonna jump uh yeah <laughs> So uh, yeah, she went across there and uh, Hubby got some plants and we've got some planters on legs. Uh, he's in a wheelchair now, so we need planters that he can reach easily. He can't really, although we've got like long handled, um, like a trowel and uh, a fork, um, he can use those, but you don't really get the traction, the grip to uh, dig plants in and he can't reach over a uh, because he hasn't got the balance to reach right over to get onto the ground so we've got some raised up like flower beds and uh, yeah they look really really pretty and um, i'll put a picture in it's still a work in progress still got a long way to go and um, there's weeds in between the paving slabs in the garden and things like that we're gradually working on those we're just trying to do a bit at a time I mean, there's no rush, you know, obviously you want everything to look fantastic and perfect, and but it doesn't need to. Just take your time and just do it as you can. Um, yes, so we were doing that. That was uh, really good fun. Uh, well, that was good fun. Yeah, I don't really like, I'm not a gardening person. Um, plants don't like me. I, I'm just a, a killer of plants. Uh, yeah, uh, you know house plants yeah very pretty just i just can't um yeah get them to carry on living shall we say? i don't know what i'm doing i either forget to water them or i overwater them or i don't know but um yeah anyway house plants don't live very long with me and gardening it's only be diamond painting 
I'd sooner sit outside in the garden and dine and paint and watch somebody else do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hubby needs help. So we've got all these new little bedding plants, just little annuals. Um, that'll just give us a splash of colour. We moved things around a little bit in the garden as well. So we've got like um, one of the swing chairs. We've had it a long time. It needs a new canopy on it because it all disintegrated, uh, blew away in the high winds. I've still no idea where it went. Uh, we did used to have a, like one of those parasols, folding parasols on a little round table. Uh, we've still got the table, but the parasol has gone. That disappeared in the winds as well. My fault, I should have put it, put it away. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, um, if somebody in a far off country has got our um, parasol, our umbrella that we stick in the table, if you can let us know. Um, I won't be able to come and collect it, obviously, but <laughs> maybe on the next high wind, send it back. <laughs> Only kidding, I know. But yeah, it, um, it's gone anyway. And we have got a six foot fence. Well, it's higher than a six foot fence all the way around the house. So yeah, um, it's obviously taken off and just gone. <sighs> yeah, anyway. So, yeah, and then uh, when we were watering the plants, I will insert a little clip. Millie was just so funny. Um, I've talked to you before about how she attacks the hose on the hoover. Um, if you're vacuuming hoovering around the edges, you know, with the hose rather than the um, big hoover, the big part on the hoover. Uh, yeah, well, she was doing the same with the hose. So every time we got the hose out and we've got one of those like gun things on the end of it so that you just pull it, it's easier for hubby to hold and use um, and just squirt with it. She was jumping up and grabbing the water and it was just hysterical. She just had a great time. Absolutely soaked by the time she'd finished. But every time you just press the thing, I don't know if it was the noise or what, but she's jumping up and she's getting gra grabbing mouthfuls of water and then having to shake herself. And it, it was taking her breath away at some point. So it was just really, really funny. So, yeah, it was a really good yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> just watching me lilies as well, Janice, what are you doing? You can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> Wet pup. Go on, shoot. Go on, clear off. You've got a wet beard already, look. Really? <laughs> No, I know you're filming me. <laughs> I don't on me. Don't on me. <laughs> she sort of like takes a breather and then she has another run at it. <laughs> putting the plants in, doing a bit of gardening, just having fun all together. And it was really good of our friend to help us out as well, you know, because, you know, it's like you don't what, really want your friends to come round and be helping you out with stuff. But, yeah, she had a good time as well. <laughs> she got some plants for her garden, so maybe at some point we can go and give her a hand with hers. Uh, I'm sure Millie would be highly delighted. Um Particularly if you're digging holes in the garden, she will help with the digging. She's very good at digging. She's very good at eating plants. Uh, she's very good at sitting on top of plants as well. <laughs> oh dear, she's uh, 
certainly a mad pup. She's asleep at the moment. Um, she's been out across at our neighbours because she saw him. He was cutting his grass and then he was um, putting some bedding plants in the ground at his house. So she's been across there. Um, she came home with a very muddy nose. So she's obviously been helping him dig holes. You know, she, she's really good. She comes up to you and she sits and then she goes... Ch -ch 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 and starts digging where you're digging. So, yeah, it's like, oh, what are we looking for? Have you buried a bone here too? <laughs> Let me help you find it. <laughs> How big do you need this hole? I'll help you. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, just throw these away. And, yeah, she was, um, she went across to him the other day Um while he was cleaning his conservatory roof i think it was we'd had to go for a hospital appointment and uh, she went across to stay with uh, our neighbor and uh, yeah <laughs> and he said oh gosh he'd lost her he couldn't find her anywhere because he just lets her wander around his back garden and he knows she can't get out and she's safe but he'd looked and he looked in the house and he couldn't find her anywhere and then when he looked he'd been cleaning the conservatory roof and um, that's like the big plastic box that's on the back of houses in the UK. We like our conservatory. It's like a sunroom. And uh, she was just sat in there. And while he'd been cleaning the roof and using the brush to clean the roof, rather than being outside and watching him, she'd just sat in the conservatory and was just looking up at him, watching him. <laughs> clean the roof. <laughs> oh dear, she's a little madam. Let me see if I can just get this sticker off and I will put that in there so I know which drills these are. So that's all my bulldog all kitted up and ready to go. Okay, I'll keep that bag because uh, I'll, I'll get rid of the drill bag. I don't need that one anymore. But I'll keep that one because that will be useful for something else, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, Womble Liz stri strikes again, keeping everything. Okay, look at that little face. Isn't that gorgeous? So this will be going up. Um, I'll be doing a little corner where my Easter things were uh, and where my Halloween things were and my Christmas. I will have a little Queen's Jubilee corner. So I will let you know when it's all done. I'll show you the pictures. Okay, well, thanks for uh, stopping by and uh, listening to me rabbit on while I kit up this little pooch. So if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I will leave the links to Angie and Mindy's uh, web, uh, YouTube pages as well. So you can get all the details of the run free DP along. Great fun. Uh, lots of prizes to be won. And it's lovely to see what everybody else does. Okay, so if you've enjoyed seeing this, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see this completed and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.